Now, before I start this video, I just want to say that I truly do love Blackbeard's lore. Now, before writing the script for the video, I practically knew nothing about him. And now he definitely has one of my favorite lore stories out of any operator in Siege. And I actually mean that. Like, I'm not just saying that. There's just so much wholesome stuff to uncover about his lore. So guys, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're just as excited as I am to show you all this amazing Blackbeard lore video. So let's start things off as we always do with where and when Blackbeard was born. So Blackbeard's real name is actually Craig Jensen. He was born on March 12th in the city of Bellevue, Washington in the United States. And I'll keep the tradition going to ask if anyone here shares a birthday with Craig on March 12th. Let me know in the comments below. Well, anyways, we see Craig's story of wholesomeness and sense of adventure start off immediately in his lore. He was born into a nice and comfortable upper middle class family with absolutely no military history at all in his family. Now, his family were all trained and employed with medical sciences, but Craig wanted something different in life. Even at a really young age, he heard all the cool stories of the Navy SEALs and knew that that's what he wanted to do when he got older. He always wanted to break the norms of his family and had an intense sense of adventure. When little Blackbeard was five years old, he snuck out of bed in the middle of the night and took all the camping gear his family had and drug it out to the woods in the backyard of his house and set up camp in the woods in his backyard. And that was in the middle of the night at five years old. <laughs> now, believe it or not, everyone, he actually camped out in those woods behind his house for two whole days then decided that two days was enough so he'd pack it all up and head back to the house out of his woods because quote unquote his parents wouldn't worry uh ex excuse me but um i'm pretty sure his parents would have been worried immediately after they realized you went missing blackbeard not worried like two days later when you decided just to mosey in back onto the house well unknown to craig at the time his parents actually knew where he was and and were keeping an eye and tabs on him at a distance so they knew he was there they went, didn't just abandon him now after knowing that when craig told harry this story during the evaluation when he joined team rainbow he said he'd wish he stayed out longer than two days if he knew his parents were watching the whole time <laughs> Well, moving on, Blackbeard's wish of starting his training to one day achieve his ultimate goal of becoming a Navy SEAL would finally come true. His father was a kinesiology professor at the University of Washington and wanted to make his boy happy. So he helped Craig join the Boy Scouts of America and the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps in the Blue Angels Squadron at the ripe age of 12 years old. His sense of adventure would skyrocket as he watched the airplanes of the Blue Angel Squadron fly by for each and every show they'd put on. Now, he learned a lot on how to survive in the wild with the Boy Scouts and the basics of military life and protocols and whatever else he has to do with the military with the Naval Sea Cadet Corps. But once Craig turned 18 years old, he immediately enlisted into the United States Navy. Now, one step closer to his dream. Now, not only did Craig start learning everything it took to become a soldier, he also started becoming very smart with all the classes he signed up for in the Navy. He was a soldier for the Navy for a decent amount of time until he was finally able to become a Navy SEAL. And after the tremendous and insanely difficult training to become a SEAL, it all paid off when they finally acknowledged him officially as a United States Navy SEAL soldier. Now, with his overall life mission complete and absolutely loving every second of being a Navy SEAL, he sought to conquer more challenges in his life that he wanted to complete. And Craig would eventually become an instructor for the SEALs as he was really good at teaching cadets. And guess what? Megan Castellano, or better known to us as Valkyrie, was one of his cadets as he was the instructor while she was training in the notorious Hell Week the SEALs have to overcome. Now, here's the part of his lore I love so much. So, Craig eventually went on to find the love of his life and, well, marry her. Not only does he have a wife now, but they had kids together, and we'll see a little bit later on in the video how great of, how truly great of a father Blackbeard is to his kids. It's actually really nice to see. Well, the story of Blackbeard is nowhere near complete. We still have so much we have to talk about him and his lore. So, Craig never got over his sense of adventure, and in fact, it only really started. With BB being a Navy SEAL instructor and has a decent amount of time on his hands now, and with his wife taking care of the kids that they have together, it allowed him to pursue the coolest things he can possibly think of and challenge himself to now driven to succeed in his profession and his private life he climbed mount freaking everest yep climbed the entire thing i swear if i tried to climb mount everest i would definitely be one of the people you'd see on the side of the path frozen solid because i suck at that but craig also took up a love for sailing as well on the sea now he performed in some u.s competitions for sailing and has literally sailed across the entire world 
But here's the best part. He's done that on several occasions. Now he loves taking his body and mind to the absolute limit and trying his best to overcome whatever challenge he sets for himself, no matter how crazy it is. Now with a lifetime of fun, challenges, and now love with his family, it may feel like Craig Jensen has done enough in life to satisfy any normal person. But Craig, you see, he, he isn't a normal person. Not at all, actually. I bet you guys know what I'm going to say next. So since obviously Blackbeard is a member of Team Rainbow, he's got to join at some point, right? Well, well, yeah, and we're about to talk about it. So in 2016, when the original six are really are not reached out to the Navy SEALs to offer the best that they have to join the multinational anti-terror organization that is Team Rainbow, they offered up Craig Jensen and Megan Castellano or Blackbeard and Valkyrie. And they accepted, of course, and were recruited into the ranks of Team Rainbow. Now, since Dr. Harry Pandy was the psychiatrist at the time of Craig's recruitment and wasn't promoted to the six of Rainbow just yet, he performed the psychological evaluation for Blackbeard and Valkyrie. And again, like most things in Blackbeard's lore, I love the psychological profile that Harry wrote on Blackbeard. A lot, actually. I'm going to read parts of it because we already talked about a few things already in the video. So let's sit back and listen to what Harry wrote about Blackbeard when they finally got to meet each other. Specialist Craig Blackbeard Jensen was a commanding presence complemented by a boisterous sense of humor and a booming laugh. Outside of his operational role, Jensen doesn't appear to take too many things seriously. He was relaxed and open throughout our conversation, describing himself as gung-ho and an all-in kind of guy. And I have to admit, I don't hear the words gung-ho too often. Athletic, rugged, and a mountain climber and a competitive sailor, Jensen tells me he's most himself when he's in nature. He says his wilderness encourages adaptation and builds willpower, tolerance, and acceptance. This seems to be the something that he's been cultivating since his youth. I asked him if there was a job out there that he would do if he wasn't in the military, and he told me that he thought about becoming an oceanographer, which is basically somebody takes pictures of the ocean and stuff. But right now, there's still a lot of shine on being a SEAL, quote unquote. He says his great-grandfather quit his job one day, left his wife and kids, and went north to be a gold miner. Now, Jensen says he shares that same passion to explore, but was not at all interested in abandoning his own wife and children. That actually sounds awful. Why would he do that? Present-day pirates are a serious concern for the Navy, and Jensen has participated in multiple anti-piracy task force. That said, when at home, he enjoys playing swashbuckler, don't know what that is, pirates with his kids. So it basically plays pirates with his kids. Jensen says pirates were egalitarian. Well, that's a tough word. Uh, let's throw that up on the screen. What does that mean? Egalitarian. Uh, moving on. And that it was similar to how a rainbow team might conduct an operation. He's a solid operator with a clear image of his role. He's successful at it and well liked by his team. If he wants to play pirates in his downtime, I think that sounds like fun. Signed, Dr. Harishva Harry Pandey director of team rainbow so i thought that was actually pretty cool i love hearing about blackbeard playing with his kids and the little comment harry made at the very end saying if craig ever wanted to play pirates with him that he'd be totally down to play <laughs> sounds so fun well guys let's move on to the device evaluation for blackbeard's tars mk0 transparent armor rifle shield that he developed now the device evaluation starts off by Craig saying that Mira wasn't able to make it to the lab to test out his shield again so she asked if he could run the test this go around instead of her doing it. So Pulse, Blitz, and Blackbeard all had a great time testing out the rifle shield. After only a half day in the lab, they completed all their tests and figured out everything that needed to be done to it. Now Blackbeard finishes off by saying, quote unquote, overall as long as it continues to be reliable, I'm a happy guy, end quote. <laughs> Well, uh, Blackbeard, I got something to tell you, man. Uh, your shield is getting nerfed and nerfed and nerfed and nerfed for probably the 20th time now. So uh, to be honest, I don't know how reliable it's going to be in the future, man. Well, also Mira wrote a little note at the end of the evaluation saying, quote, thanks, Craig. One note, you three shouldn't tease the tech so much. They didn't know you were joking about those stunts. Signed, Mira, end quote. So guys, with everything I could think about mentioned in the video, I think we're all wrapped up with Blackbeard's lore. It would mean a lot if you think I did a good job on the video and to leave a like and subscribe notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out.